In the return match almost a year later, Floyd Patterson attempts to make boxing history again when he fights to regain the world heavyweight title from Johansson. New York, 20th of June, 1960. This is Chris Shankle at the Polo Grounds in New York City. For the 12th time in the long history of boxing, a former heavyweight champion of the world tries to accomplish what no other man has ever done. Before 45,000 fight fans and against Ingemar Johansson, who knocked him out in three rounds a year ago, Floyd Patterson attempts to regain his crown. A year ago, Johansson controlled the fight with his left hand, waiting for the opening for that now famous right. Tonight, Patterson's problem is to get inside that left hand. Patterson is working on the inside for the first time in two fights. A 10 second warning. under Johansson's left eye is starting to redden and puff. Still, that right hand of Johansson's has not landed. Still, the crowd waits expectantly for the moment. it. Patterson is dazed, stalling for time. Johansson trying to set him up.
It's obvious Patterson's chances ride on his left hook. It's not only his best punch, but it is also forcing Johansson to use his best hand, his right, defensively. The referee is Arthur Mercanti. A slight cut is now visible under Johansson's left eye. Patterson's strategy throughout this fight has been to back Johansson up and keep him off balance. Body punch up to now.
That short inside right shakes Johansson. Took to the body hurts Johansson. The count is six, seven, eight, nine. Now Patterson knows the title is there for the retaking. Count is eight, nine, and out. The time, one minute, 51 seconds of the fifth round, and the first man ever to regain the heavyweight championship, the winner, Floyd Patterson.